Hey guys, Miles here at Tactile Hive. The last two or three weeks, we've probably been off schedule with our Monday and Thursday dry fire and live fire session. And that was because I was out of commission. So I'm back, everything's good. But today we're going to do dry fire. Then Sunday we will do the live fire. And then next week we'll be back onto our regular schedule. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue off on the subject of trigger control. This time we're gonna be talking about some concepts that are going to really help you in addition to isolating your trigger finger and moving that trigger finger straight to the rear. So if you're interested, stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So we already discussed two major principles when it comes to trigger control, isolating your trigger finger and moving it straight to the rear. There are two other concepts that can help and this drill, this dry fire drill that I'm gonna teach you is super simple and is going to be very helpful. And that is when you are squeezing your trigger, you want to do two things. You wanna make sure that you have constant speed and minimal effort. Constant speed means if you start pulling your trigger, or squeezing your trigger at whatever it is, 10 miles per hour, whatever it is, or a certain weight, let's say 10 pounds of force, you wanna keep it at 10 pounds of force. If you have a two pound trigger, then you're gonna do maybe about a little bit more than two pounds, and you wanna keep that as you're squeezed the entire time. The more you change it, let's say you start off with two pounds and then you change to 10, 10 pounds, you can disrupt the sights. Remember the whole idea of proper trigger control is making the gun go bang without disturbing your sights. So if you have constant pressure, okay, constant movement here, okay, we don't vary it up, there's not a lot of variables, then you're going to set yourself up for success. The next thing is minimal effort. So I already alluded to this, so if you have a six pound trigger, how hard do you have to squeeze the trigger? Do you have to squeeze it 10 pounds? No, not necessarily because it's only six pounds, right? So all you need is a little bit more than six pounds to make the gun go bang. And you're gonna develop that sensitivity, okay, the amount of uh, uh, energy you need or the weight, the, the, the strength that you need as you dry fire and shoot a lot. And this drill, this dry fire exercise is going to work both of those. Now, we're not forgetting the two principles that we've already discussed when it comes to trigger control. We're just adding these two things. And now we're gonna hyper-focus on these two things. This is where the dry fire mag is gonna come in handy, guys. I've talked about this in the series. We're going to do multiple shots, two, three shot iterations. So this is gonna be extremely helpful. By doing this and having a very similar trigger press to your, your actual real gun, this is gonna be very helpful. So if you guys don't have a dry fire mag, I highly recommend picking one up. Take a look at the link below and you can also get $10 off by using the code TACHIVE. All right, so what I have here is a target. It can be any target, really. You, you don't even have to have a target. You could just use a light switch, but you want something really small. So I put a one inch paster on that target. Again, you could use anything you want, but you want to hold yourself to a higher standard by picking a really small target. So with that target down range, you're gonna go about three to four yards. If you're a red dot shooter, that's fine. Iron sight shooter, that's fine. What you wanna do is you wanna put your red dot or your aligned iron sights directly on that paster. And you're going to now take two or three rapid fire shots as fast as you can, but remembering constant pressure, minimal effort. Remembering those two things, okay? And the whole goal is for your sights or your red dot not to come off of that paster, that really small target. Because if you're able to shoot really quick without moving, disturbing the sights, that's a very good sign. That means you are really following the principles of trigger control and the concepts of minimal effort, constant pressure, or constant speed, okay? So here, I'm at the paster, I'm going to take two shots. My sights, my iron sights were on that paster the entire time, so that's a good rep. I'm going to grossly exaggerate here on the second shot. Okay, take a look at the muzzle here. You'll see it. I'm gonna dip it very, very exaggerated here. So I'm here, the first shot's good, second shot, I'm totally off. You need to be the judge. So you're going to pay attention to your red dot or your iron sights. If it comes off of that paster, you know there's movement, something is happening, okay? And here's the thing, guys. We, in this series, we've been isolating the fundamentals. We talked about stance, we talked about grip, we talked about trigger control. But keep in mind, okay, this is important so we're focusing on specific skill sets. But when we're shooting, remember, everything is combined, right? We never really, we never are really able to completely isolate one thing because let's say you tend to 
you tend to shake a lot, okay? So you don't really have a steady platform. So you might have the best trigger control. Maybe you're following all the principles, maybe you're following all the concepts that we've gone over, and that's great, but then you're still missing your shot. And that could be because you're shaky, okay? And you, you know, you're breaking the shot properly with the trigger control, but you're just, your sight's just not there because of your, maybe you're fatiguing, okay? So just keep that in mind. We need to consider that it's a reality, okay? So if you get tired and your sights are not staying on target, that, you know, that's possibly why you're missing. All right, so once again, you're going to get in front of your target, get a small target here. I'm going to take two shots. Everything looks good, finger off the trigger and I'm back. Then I do it again, maybe I take three shots. Everything looks good you can increase the difficulty by moving back further and further and also shooting faster. Squeezing your trigger, coming off of it right away, then right back on it, okay? As fast as you possibly can. So this is a very simple way of working those two concepts, constant speed, constant pressure, whichever you wanna call it, and minimal effort. The more you begin to change your speed and pressure and the more you, you change the effort, then that's going to potentially you know, make your sights veer. So very simple drill, guys. I would do this. You can combine this with everything we've learned in the series, series thus far, your draw, uh, kind of pushing out if you want to. But because we're focusing on trigger control, don't get too pent up with that stuff, caught up with that stuff, okay? If you're getting confused and overwhelmed, just start from here. Buzzer sounds, I would do it from the buzzer, okay? Buzzer sounds, well, you should start off without a buzzer, then work up to the buzzer. Two shots. Reset and prep, I'm ready to go, finger off the trigger and I'm back. Then maybe do it again. You could do it from your arms extended or from here, whichever you want to. Do this for about 15 minutes, about three times a week, and then that will be, that will prepare you for Sunday. Now I know the schedule is a little off. We're starting on a Thursday and perhaps maybe your schedule's off, but if you can get three sessions in about 15 minutes, that's, they'll give you a good hang, hang of it and then you'll be better prepared for Sunday. All right, well, I hope you guys like that quick video on constant speed and minimal effort. That's really going to be a good add-on to the two principles we've already covered about trigger control. Give it a try, and if you do well, you're really focused, you're gonna do much better on Sunday. So I'll see you guys on Sunday, and as always, if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. See you guys Sunday.